Hi, I'm Susan Stiffelman, and it's my pleasure to share with you a powerful exercise that you can immediately do that will make a real difference in the relationship you have with your children. You see, most of us try to be in control. We try to get our kids to do what we want by overpowering them or convincing them or negotiating with them and using bribes, threats, and punishments. And those strategies come at a cost. They compromise the relationship with our child. I have a way, instead of helping parents learn how to be in charge lovingly and calmly as what I call the captain of the ship, and in this way we naturally elicit our child's willingness to be cooperative and to connect with us. Here's a simple tip. I want you to write down on a piece of paper 10 things that you love about your child. Just things that are based on who they are, not based on their accomplishments or their achievements. So it might be, I love how gentle he is with the dog, or I, I love her voice when she sings, it just makes me so happy, or I love to see how um, sweetly he plays with our neighbor's little girl. Once you've made your list, invite your child to a quiet place where it's just the two of you and read it to him or her with love and seeing them as the miracle that they are. This might be awkward for your child. They might be uncomfortable or say, this is weird. But just express your love and appreciation for who they are and let it wash over them. This may be one of the sweetest moments you will have shared with your child in a long time. I want you to then look and watch. A shift may happen almost immediately because for a child, it's so powerful to feel really seen, cherished, understood, and appreciated just for who they are, not because they scored a winning touchdown or got an A on a test. I hope that this gives you a glimpse into the possibilities that can happen when you make even small shifts in your parenting life. It's my pleasure to do the work that I do. It's my great joy and my great passion to support parents around the world with the strategies that I've learned as a marriage and family therapist, teacher, and educator. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope that this has been of value to you.